For more on the Delta variant's danger, we welcome microbiologist Simon Clark to the program. He's joining us from Reading University in England. Thank you so much for being with us here on France 24. I want to start with a kind of basic question just because I feel like there's a lot of confusion about the Delta variant right now. What do we know for certain about how dangerous it is compared to previous strains? Well, we know that it's more transmissible, um, around about 50% more transmissible. Depending on who you listen to, they'll say 40 to 60%, so say 50%. And that in itself means that it can infect more people. And even if it's not more lethal, I think the jury is still out on whether it's actually more lethal than other strains we've seen before. That presents a big problem, that increased transmiss transmissibility, because it means it will get around more people and, and, and inflict a bigger toll on human health. So for those of us who are already vaccinated, are we safe? Uh, we're, yes, uh, we, we, are, we are safe uh, if we've had two doses. Um, no vaccine is 100% effective, or, or very few are. Um, so there, is, there will always be some people who, despite having both uh, doses of the vaccine, and despite doing everything right, will still be susceptible to getting COVID-19. And that needs to be borne in mind. There have been some medical experts in the states who are saying that if you aren't vaccinated right now, this is actually the most dangerous time of the entire pandemic. Do you agree with that? Um, given the fact that uh, now we have a ready supply of vaccines, yes. Um, I'm not sure that I would say it is the most dangerous time uh, because fewer people, I think, are, are going to, to pass away from this um, this, this uh, wave of infections, far fewer, in fact. But uh, I think I know what they mean. Now, you know, summer travel in the grand scheme of things is not the most important, but a lot of people worried about how this Delta variant could uh, impact their plans. Um, we see uh, Portugal, for example, saying that UK travelers who aren't vaccinated need to uh, quarantine for two weeks again. Uh, is it safe to travel right now? Um, if you are vaccinated, it is safer to travel. Uh, while there are, are vaccines flying around the world and, and infecting uh, populations, can you ever really say that it is entirely 100% safe? No, I don't think you can. But people will take the risk. Um, uh, they, they will judge the risk for themselves and decide whether they're going to take it. But um, you know, some people, to some people, foreign travel matters an awful lot more than it does to others. So, uh, you know, you have to bear that in mind as well. Yeah, and everyone hoping we're not going to be paying for our summer vacations in the fall, like uh, many countries did last year. Uh, Simon Clark from Reading University in England, thanks so much.